so bad. Let's uh let's jump off of that and we'll close out today's show talking some NBA. And I was a little excited over the weekend. I'll uh, I'll admit that. The NBA comeback schedule was released. Our Memphis Grizzlies got exactly one of their eight games that will be shown on national TV in primetime. Wasn't thrilled about that. But no. um, but Zion Williamson, he got five games. The Portland Trailblazers got five games on national television. Um, it's, it, it kind of, I mean, it just sucks, right? Like, it, it, nobody wants, to, apparently nobody wants to watch the Grizzlies with their incredible young trifecta that they've got. They, but they will once, When they will once the playoff starts, they'll realize we missed out on this young team. Yes, I, they're young I think and you're a lot right. of fun. They're too young. They're not going to make a run, but they're exciting to watch. They're not going to be boring. Oh, you you have a hundred percent got that right. So the schedule that remains, uh, the first matchups that we will get to see are the Jazz against the Pelicans, and that'll be on TNT on July thirtieth, and then you'll have the Clippers and the Lakers on TNT the same night. So. You will have back-to-back games at 5.30 p.m. Central and 8 p.m. Central. And from there, you're going to have basketball all day, every day, going forward. And it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun, right? So you're going to have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday. It's just going to go on and on and on. And I'm pumped about it. Like, I, I cannot wait for I'm this. I'm excited to have basketball back. I'm ready. Yeah, it, this is going to be a lot of fun. The Everybody, of course playing only teams that are down in Orlando. Of course, that makes sense. But uh, this is uh, this is a lot of fun. I, I think that I, I like this setup a lot. I mean, I think it's going to be insanely entertaining to watch. Yeah. There's, we were I thrust don't... in a terrible situation with COVID. Nobody yeah. knew how to respond, and this is the byproduct of that, okay? We're getting something. It's different, but I'm excited, and I'm not going to be Debbie Downer right now. I'm, I'm I'll not tell afraid you this. to be that. I'm not that now. I'm, I'm glad to have it back, and I'm not going to bitch about how it happened. I wish we could get better games at night. I've got a funky work schedule. I think I'll be able to manipulate my days to where I can at least catch most of the games. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. And um, hey, I Justin, got a good boss. Justin so. Miller jumped in, by the way, and uh, wanted to tell you Pats are the greatest team ever. Easy Super Bowl this year. <laughs> I'm not by that, Justin, but. Damien said, Adam Silver is dumb if he's really thinking about finishing the season in Florida while they are on lockdown. He needs to cancel the season or relocate. Let me go ahead and tackle this one for Damien. This is... It, now, we talked about how dumb it was when everything was reopening and it looked like everybody was just going to be out doing whatever, right? We talked about that and how they just needed to have the games in their home arenas, whatever. Chris and I can admit when we are wrong in this situation... The NBA looks like the geniuses here. You, if you are in lockdown, if you are in a bubble, in quarantine, that is the absolute best place for them to finish the season. That, they've got so many restrictions and protocols set up. People from the outside are not going to be able to just come in. Because Florida is bad and they are in the state of Florida, it's not magically going to impermeate their hotel. Okay, yeah. it's, The hotel is on people lockdown. If they with it in, then they are fine. Yeah, and everybody before they come in has to be tested. And everybody, once they are in, will continue to be tested regularly. They're, they're, no, they're not, once they're in, they're in, and there's no leaving. No, there's yeah, there's no leaving. Yeah, You get fined, you get quarantined for two Mike weeks. Wilbon, you get all I mean, this is stuff. media people, this is cameramen, this is everybody. Mike Wilbon was talking on Tony Kornheiser's show the other day in this podcast, talking about how I'm not going. Like, ESPN tried to send me. It was like, once I'm there, I'm there for three months, and I can't leave? <laughs> Nope. Yeah, no chance. I'll watch all the games, and I'll talk about them still, but I'm not covering them in person. Well, and on top of that, all of the press conferences and all that are all going to be done through Zoom. So Yeah, it's all virtual. Why why do you need to be there? Mm. Like it, Media people were still trying. Companies were still wanting their people there because they feel like they can get access to these guys. But. Yeah. Like you're uh, you're 100. I would right say there. this: a couple of weeks into these dudes hanging out with the same people over and over again, if you were like the one media guy there, I bet you could get some good stories. Oh, because yes. I'm going to bet they're going to get sick of talking to who they're talking to, and somebody will pony up to the bar next to you. 
Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, Damien jumped back in and said, how is this smart if Florida co- uh, COVID cases are going up? Because exactly what not, we just said. They're like, in the state of Florida in a bubble that has been quarantined and cleaned and heavily monitored. So they're not at the beach. They're not in all these towns where COVID's going on. Yeah, they're, they're not going out to the bars with random well, people. That's why we call it a bubble. Yeah, it's it, everybody that comes into this location is tested. And once you're in, you don't get out. That's, you that's what leave. this is. So I, I don't think this COVID is dumb is a at bad all. Thing. It is a scary thing. It is not magical. Yeah, it's the same as, as any other virus. You can't catch it if it's not around. It, it can't go from the beach to your bubble. Yeah, it's it's just, it, it's it's airborne, but it don't travel that far. You know, <laughs> like, it's just, it's crazy, crazy. But I am excited about it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. This is, it, having a schedule set up like this where the games are, here, I'll, I'll give you a, quick rundown of what the first Friday looks like, okay? And not every team is playing every day. You know, typically teams are getting a day off in between. But you've got a game at 1.30, two of them at 3 p.m., one at 5.30, one at 7, and one at 8. And then the next day on Saturday, you got one at 12, 2.30, 5, 6, 7.30. On Sunday, you've got one at 1, 2.30, 3, 5 p.m., 7.30, 8 p.m. You're going to get to watch a lot of basketball. And it is going to be a whole lot of fun. Like, I'm I'm excited about this. You're going to get to catch the end of these games as they're going. I mean, it's it's exciting. This is great. Damien said, plus, isn't there a sandstorm coming to the country? Sandstorm is already here. It is, it's, it's such a, it's really not bad. Like, it was already in Nashville. It came through. It was dust from the uh, Saharan Desert. And it came in. It kind of coated Nashville a little bit. It's moving up a little bit. It's already out of Florida. Like, we're good. So, this is not nearly the thing that everybody... It's kind of the murder hornets thing. Everybody freaks out, and then all of a sudden it's gone, and nothing really happened. Same thing. Same thing. hi yay, yay You guys are killing me today. Killing me. Damien, we love you, brother. Don't go anywhere. We love you. All right, Chris, is there anything else that popped up that, uh, that we need to hit on? Is it... That is it. Let's get out of here. Of course, winningcureseverything.com is the website. Make sure you go check it out. We will have more news about our SBR stuff. We are joining up with Sportsbook Review. We will be doing their college football content for the season, so you can go check them out, sportsbookreview.com. And we'll have more as we go along. We're getting into July. We're getting ready for team previews. We're getting ready for all of that fun stuff. College football, NFL, we are ready to rock and roll. So, Go check out our website, winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you're subscribed everywhere you need to be subscribed. Leave a nice review on the podcast and tell all your people about the show. We love you for coming in, all you guys in the chat. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. In the meantime, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.